This video is an introduction to the concept of resistance. So on screen we have a resistor. This is a component in a circuit which reduces the flow of current. The more resistors you add into a circuit, the more resistance it has, and so therefore the slower the current will flow. That means you will have less current. So by the end of this lesson, we should be able to define resistance, state the units of resistance, explain the cause of resistance, describe how temperature affects resistance, and finally, state Ohm's law. So we must remember that conductors are materials through which electricity passes easily. These, we can say, are materials with low resistance while insulators are materials through which electricity does not pass easily. These are materials with high resistance. The resistance is defined as the potential difference per unit current. So the potential difference required across a component to make one amp of current flow through that component. We can shorten the equation to R equals V over I where R is resistance, V is potential difference, and I is current. We can also look at the symbols that we use for this. We have V for volts, A for amps, and finally we have the ohm. The ohm is the unit of resistance. One ohm is one volt per amp. So the cause of resistance is electrons colliding with ions in a material. Electrons are wanting to flow, in this image, from left to right. A potential difference is applied which gives the electrons a push. Once they're pushed, they will begin flowing from left to right. However, on their way, some will collide with ions in the metal lattice. It is these collisions which cause resistance. If we consider increasing the temperature of this metal, we know that the ions begin to vibrate. The warmer a material is, the faster the ions will vibrate. In this case, the same potential difference will result in the electrons colliding with more ions. Because the ions are vibrating, because they're moving around, the electrons will collide with those ions more often. This means that if you increase the temperature of a metal, that will increase the resistance. It becomes harder for the electrons to flow from one side to the other. Finally, we have Ohm's law. The current through a resistor at constant temperature is proportional to the potential difference across the resistor. That is to say, the current is proportional to the potential difference. The reason we say at constant temperature is because, as we know from the previous image, if a material increases temperature, it will in fact increase the resistance of that material. An ohmic conductor, that is, any material that obeys Ohm's law, is only true if we consider a constant temperature. 